Okay, so we're back in Kerbal Space Program. And now I'm going to feature uh, the third design I had for uh, Girandola. Uh, the Girandola firework. As you can see, unlike the uh, pictures that I shared in an album a few hours ago, this particular design is now more of a... is cleaner. I really exerted effort in making it look like a wheel. So I really shaped the outer ring into a wheel. And on the edge of that wheel you can see solid rocket uh, boosters or thrusters. And here, what I'm showing to you now are the uh, liquid rocket motors. This one in the center, in the central stack. And directly below it is a giant or a large solid rocket booster. Which is actually also a small booster in Kerbal Space Program, but uh, compared to the size of the entire structure, that one was uh, large. And these are parachutes. I placed additional four parachutes in, uh, in the end of the spokes. So now we're going to launch the thing. And um, <coughs> so compared to my other attempts, this one doesn't have a uh, means to stabilize itself. I mean something automatic. This one just stabilizes due to angular momentum. Meaning the spin of the entire structure is the one that's going to accelerate it. So let's launch this thing. So there it goes. As you can see the solid rocket booster spun up the wheel really fast. And uh, at this moment the uh, I haven't activated the uh, liquid rocket motors yet. There they go. So both the central solid rocket boosters and the liquid rocket motors are now pushing it upwards and the liquid rocket motors are continuing the spin. Look at that column of flame. That's All of that is coming from the central solid rocket booster which just uh, got depleted right now. So now what's pushing it upwards? Well not, not much because as we can see the ascent rate is actually uh, going down now but there's still some fuel left and it's actually uh, pushing or spinning the entire structure still so it's gonna run out in a few seconds from now the uh, the remaining fuel which is actually piped into the uh, the tanks at the end of the spokes there so now there's no more propulsion and the entire wheel is now slowly descending or falling back down to Kerbin and I'm speeding up time so that we don't have to wait long and as you can see um, the spin of the entire wheel has almost stopped uh, because there, there's no more uh, force exerting upon the wheel. There are the chutes so the chutes have been uh, deployed for a gentle landing again I'm going to predict that even though I tried to uh, make sure that this is going to be a gentle landing. Let's speed it up a bit. Um, the fact that the uh, s the expended solid rocket motor is still sticking out there from below, that's going to explode when it hits the ground. So <laughs> that's going to explode when it makes contact with the ground. A few seconds from now, three, two, one, <laughs> boom. But as you can see, the uh, entire structure is still intact. And look at that. The uh, physics of uh, Kerbal Space Program is uh, brilliantly uh, displayed there by the wo wobbling motion of the uh, wheel. And now we're zooming out of KSC, the Kerbal Space Center, and zooming out and see letting you see the uh, planet Kerbin. So that's it, and I hope you enjoyed that.